there are not going to be fruits here no fruits yeah so what is that called when the plants which do not give fruit and just you know multiply no 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 there is some name no 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 there is some name like the plants which do not give fruit or seed and you can simply multiply by stem is a particular name given to that ha huh? no 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 there is a name given to that that one ha huh? there is a biological name given to the plants which do not give fruit or seed they simply uh like in reproduction there is one word you know like through seed without seed that is a name no anyway try to recall so okay nice okay no no seed the plants do not have seed of fruit what are they called what are they called crypto okay cryptogram okay fine nice how about the property what will happen if you eat the leaves is it going to nurture your body no so it will have a different property than a mango tree isn't it nice and the same natural characteristic and the innateness nice Yeah. Uh, now we have to tell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So seed means something by which it multiplies. Yeah. So basically, if you cut any part and then plant it, the same kind of tree will come up. That's the meaning of seed here. How about this belladonna plant then? How about the form? We can see. You are able to see the form. okay how about the property can we eat it no is it nurturing or worsening for us <laughs> worsening is it always worsening so when is it worsening when is it nurturing is it always worsening for a human being yeah when you use in medicine it is going to nurture us if you use its uh, that milk part and make some medicine and uh, it is going to nurture so also so it is used in antiseptic uh, yeah. um, particles so it can chemicals cure your body also okay when you are making antiseptic what is happening there is it nurturing or worsening ha <laughs> uh, worsening to the bacteria nurturing to the body yes <laughs> nice then natural characteristic and and you know, innateness same why bacteria comes under which order pardon bacteria comes under which order tell me what uh, like bacteria belongs to which order bio order or animal order how do we decide yeah <laughs> how about the mosquito it belongs to bio order animal order bio order snake how do we find out if there is a developed brain then that belongs to uh, animal order if there is no developed brain then that belongs to what is development <laughs> whether the brain function is uh, existing okay so we we'll have to see you know in a snake whether there is self or not If the self is there, then it can belong to the animal order. If the self is not there, then bio order only. Yes. So can snakes take revenge? <laughs> can a plant take revenge? can even a bio order take revenge maybe an animal order unit can take so we have to again examine all those things you know whether we are talking about 
the unit of bio order or animal order maybe there is some snake with a silk could be possible if that is the case then it could be possible if that is not there it is not possible as simple as this so you have to again look at the body of the snake bhaiya snakes have a very uh, wide range of bodies yes right from the smallest possible snake to the huge snakes also so if you are taking into consideration a small snake so it may not have a brain also yeah rather than developed brain it may so not have to find out how about fish <laughs> fish belongs to the bio order animal order now the scientists have started telling that micro snakes are there nano snakes are there so in that case <laughs> brains may not exist also <laughs> How about fish? Bio order, animal order? All fish, bio order. All fish, yeah. Animal yeah. Animal In MCQ, you are going to score hundred out of hundred. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Okay. Now, how about this cow? Animal order. Form? Yeah. So shape, size. How about the density? You are talking about the cow or the body of cow? So how about the self? Does it have a form? <laughs> so does self have a form? Limited in size. So it has a size. <laughs> how about shape? Yes. Yeah. So maybe you are not able to see it. We do not have that level of competence, but it's not there everywhere, isn't it? So it has a shape, it has a size, fine. And not it, me, I. So I have a shape, I have a size, isn't it? Nice. So when you look at the form of a cow, we have to talk about self as well as body, right? How about the property? What? <laughs> property of cow <laughs> effect of cow on other units so what is the effect of cow on plants yeah. so again I can see the effect of cow on other things isn't it so the effect of cow on other units of nature including the human being that would be the property so if you go to a cow, some cow would simply bow down and allow you to you know, pat its body. There would be some cow who would be you know, pushing you with the horns. <laughs> so two cows may have different properties. There would be some cow who would be very docile. There would be some cow who would be very you know, cruel kind of cow. Uh, and variation in the self, the conduct of self is largely owing to the variation in the body. So if you look at the... No, with respect to the behavior with the humans, some animal is uh, bowing down, some animal is uh, sucking the horns. In that sense, can we say that it is because of the... Yeah, behavior? it is because of the self. The decision is by there, there by the self. Huh. So decision is there of the self, isn't it? Okay. But the decision of the self, is it... Because what is what is the reason behind the difference in the decision of the self? So assuming, okay. Ha, ha. And you can see that the assuming in the self of the animal is largely governed by the body. Yeah, that is true. Assuming in the self of the animal is largely governed by the body. But in the human being, it is not like that. The assuming in the self of human is not largely governed by the body. Because the self is more developed. Yeah. So it may be the case that we have one self here and another self here. <laughs> so it is possible that this self goes to the body of the tiger. 
<laughs> quite possible they will have different kind of conduct now if you go to pat the back of the tiger <laughs> <laughs> you can see what will happen yeah. tiger starts patting on you <laughs> <laughs> No, so it may be the case that they have conditioned it like that, quite possible. <laughs> Eating. <laughs> In fact, there is a story that a person tamed a tiger, okay, and it was just behaving like a docile animal. And this person someday got wound in the knee and blood was coming out. And this tiger started licking it and then the original tiger came out. <laughs> This person sensed that this is going to harm me now, so killed it. There is a story like that. Yeah. So cow, property we can see, you know, the effect of the cow on other units and the effect of other units on the cow, isn't it? Effect of one unit on another unit. Natural characteristic? Yes. So in the eye, self. And body? Body of the cow, what is the natural characteristic? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Nurturing and worsening, yes. Along with composition, decomposition. The body is similar to a bio unit, isn't it? So the composition, decomposition and nurturing, worsening in the body of the cow. And self, cruel and non-cruel, isn't it? So mostly it is non-cruel. But can it become cruel? If you try to hit the calf in front of the cow, just see what happens. <laughs> it can become cruel, isn't it? So this, Maya, you'll see, yes. Maya, I have a doubt with respect to the self. Human self have accumulated sanskars. Yeah. Similarly, will the animal self, the self in animal, will it have sanskars accumulated with it? Yeah, at, but mostly at the level of expectation. Okay. Uh, maybe so I am not able to. We understand. have much more dominant sanskar because we have sanskar at the level of desire. Okay. They will have sanskar only at the level of expectation. So we may not call it sanskar also, but that is a conditioning. So, what happens if this cow, the self of this cow is going to take the body of the tiger as you mentioned. If something is going to happen like that, only the behavior of the tiger changes. So, in tigers also you can see a difference in behavior. But yeah, I don't need Among tigers also you can see a difference in behavior. Uh, okay. But again, uh. that was just a question. So, whether this self is going to coexist with this body or not will depend on the development of the body the composition decomposition in the body to what extent the brain is developed so for that we have to examine to what extent the brain of the cow is developed to what extent the brain of tiger is developed no the the self of this cow can take the body of the tiger based on the development of the brain yes <laughs> but brain is a part of a body yes <laughs> <laughs> How can we re then, then that becomes the sanskar, right? No. If brain is not a part of sanskar. <laughs> sanskar is there in the self. Baya, once again, Baya, please. <laughs> Baya, I was not able to hear that. So. Sanskar is there in the self. Yes, Baya. Yes, sanskar is in self. Yeah. So, as you mentioned, if, if the cow has a brain and it has developed something, certain things, and if the self is going to get transferred to the tiger, then the activities of the brain will having an impact on the self, isn't it? So that is the sanskars. No. Brain is a body. The sanskar is something that is there in the self. Okay. Whether at the level of expectation or thought or desire. Okay. 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 That is going to be there with the self. Okay. Now, since the body is more dominant here because the self is less developed. Okay. So if you look at the body of this tiger, mm. 
if you try to differentiate between herbivorous animal and carnivorous animal uh-huh. there are multiple uh-huh. issues like the claws the uh, no, this thing the nails in the claws uh, yes the length of the intestine intestine if you look at the herbivorous animal the length of the intestine is 24 feet in mm-hmm. the carnivorous it is only 12 feet okay so many differences are there if you look at the canine teeth uh-huh. it is there in the carn- uh, carnivorous not in the herbivorous so that kind of difference is there so owing to that there will be difference in the conduct of the self also okay so their body is dominating pardon body, body is dominant is dom- yeah even if you do not have canine teeth and but the self is dominant here <laughs> like that yes so uh, when the self develops uh, will it make any change in the brain yeah so you'll see that presently also presently also if i'm trying to be happy by favorable sensation by favorable feeling i am utilizing the brain many times to get something from outside but if the source of happiness is innate to me i do not have to use brain to be happy so i use brain in a different way and you can observe this for example when you are preparing for some competitive exam hmm. you are using your brain in one way when you are serving people you are using your brain in some other way when you are taking rest you are using your brain in some other way when you are you know doing so many things at the same time you know finally the form of the uh, the, out- the composition the composition appearance yeah or that, that finally the size or appearance something is like. the form okay and if you look at the activities in size the brain size and shape of the brain will change uh, yeah, depending yeah. on the development activities of the activities in the brain will be different some were more sophisticated some were less sophisticated so uh, suppose you are given a control system where 30 controls are there in front of you at the same time you have to take care of all of them simultaneously you can see to what extent you have to employ your brain isn't it yeah five pilot so you have to utilize your brain in that manner you are running a business with 30 departments <laughs> and you have to take care of all the departments so you have to use your brain in a different manner so the activity of the brain is going to be determined by the way you utilize the brain nice bhai so, a question regarding cruelty non cruelty are we giving this as a i mean from our side that is uh, the animals they become cruel as a protective mechanism that's one thing uh, maybe for food also they kill other animals that's one thing so are we giving this as a notion to them as they are cruel or non cruel yeah so basically to fulfill the needs of the body one animal is killing some other animal it is being called as cruelty is it our perspective no, no, only we are able to say the nature of the animal can't be said as cruel yeah so ultimately we have to observe the activity now a cow is not killing any other animal to feed its body but tiger is doing that so tiger if you look at the tiger it is dist- killing one unit of the animal order to fulfill the needs of the body so one unit of animal order killing some other unit of the animal order we can call it as cruelty to the animal or the tiger it does not appear as cruelty it is a part of its life but we can see that this is cruelty and we can see that this is not acceptable to me naturally when i have to do the same thing with other human being if to fulfill my needs if i have to kill some human being it is certainly certainly not acceptable to me naturally so in the tiger if you see the tiger if you see the self is not so developed in the tiger the self is not so developed that you know it can refer to the natural acceptance yeah so if you look at the design of the body of the tiger it is in such a way that it has to kill some other animal to feed its body but if you look at our design of the body it is not in such a way that you have to kill anything to feed our body no not labeling i'll say that we can observe it and see what is happening you do not call it cruelty you call it x y z whatever but the animal has to keep some kill some other animal to fulfill its need now this cow does not have to kill some other animal to fulfill its need 
So that is the difference between a cow and a tiger. Is it the cruelty? Uh, I mean, human beings are also cruel. Some human beings. We cannot say like the human beings, the animals are cruel. Can we? So if we are cruel, then we are unhappy with that. Now, if you look at the innateness of the animal, it just wants to live. It does not want to live with happiness. We not only want to live, but we want to live with happiness in continuity. So that will to live with happiness is not there. So it is not being unhappy also by killing. But if we have to kill someone to survive, we feel unhappy doing that, isn't it? Because what is acceptable to us naturally is relationship, harmony. That is not fulfilling relationship. That is not fulfilling the harmony between me and the other. Yeah, is it anywhere connected with the senses we have and the animal have like five senses, six senses? Those five senses are there in the animal also. That's why we have yeah, that. But they are devoted towards living. How we are having those five senses in the body, but they are meant to utilize the body as an instrument for right understanding, right feeling. For example, in this workshop, we are utilizing all the five senses. Isn't it? For what? For right understanding. There is no assembly of tigers. <laughs> working for right understanding. <laughs> so the cruelty is fine for animals, but not for the human. Yeah, but if you see, like our cruelty, if we become cruel, is somewhat unregulated, uncontrolled. If you look at their cruelty, it is regulated. So yeah. for example, a tiger, it will kill a deer. Only one deer for its hunger. One day it will kill it for seven days. If you just see the tiger is eating the deer, it is lying there, deers are again and I'm moving here and there around him. There is no problem with the deer, there is no problem with the tiger also. Now when it again becomes hungry, then again it will do something. But we humans, we are fighting unnecessarily. Ukraine, the population of Ukraine is in lakhs. <laughs> enough land to survive. Russia, the largest nation on this planet, has enough land to survive. At one point of time, it had to give one part of the nation to America because it was not able to manage that part of the land. So much land is there in Russia, that Alaska region if you see, right? But still they are fighting for land, isn't it? They are cruel, they are doing cruelty for nothing and there is no limit to it. For the past, I think two years now, no? Yeah, every day bombarding is taking place. It has become like a breakfast. To wake up in the morning, plant a bomb, go back. <laughs> Pardon? Now we have to decide our participation. What is our participation with the cow? Yeah. So here again, cruel and non cruel. How about innateness? Innateness? So in the you know, body, there is growth and in the will to live, uh, in the self will to live, nice. How about this? Oh, it is too heavy. <laughs> yeah, so adult male, adult female, you know, child male, child female. Forms we can see different. You know? The form keeps on changing also, form of the body with time, it keeps on changing. How about the property? So the body has its property. You know? If you look at the male body, it has one kind of property, female body, another kind of property. Child body, one kind of property, grown up body, another kind of property, isn't it? Natural characteristic of the body, same as bio order, isn't it? And natural characteristic of the self, what is the natural characteristic of the self? Yeah, perse <laughs> perseverance, brevity, and generosity. Okay? Pardon? Knowing as is activity.
<laughs> good <laughs> nice so what does perseverance mean Continuous hard work to be what? Continuous hard work to be the richest person in the world. Will it, ha will it help? No. What is perseverance? Right understanding? Yeah. yeah. So basically perseverance means that I am resolved within. So in no situation I do get anxious, perturbed, disturbed, uncomfortable in every situation. I am always thinking in terms of relationship, harmony and coexistence. This is perseverance. So being resolved within, so that every time my imagination is always you know, towards relationship, harmony and coexistence. What is bravity? Courage of what? Dekh lunga, dikha dunga na. What is bravity? So bravity is the way I am resolved, I am always ready to resolve the other. That is the bravity. So if you look at people in the tradition also, those who have worked for harm in the society, you know, always ready to work for the society, for relationship, for harmony, we call them as brave. So bravity is my readiness to resolve the other with the resolution within. And generosity? So with perseverance, with you know, bravity, the readiness to invest my mind, body and wealth to resolve the other, that is generosity. So with right, right understanding naturally, we will have this characteristic. The more we are able to develop right understanding in us, we are ready to invest ourselves for undivided society, universal human order. Is that true? Yeah. And we will see that we can evaluate our development from here. How much perseverance I have now. Earlier it might be the case I used to get impatient, I used to get anxious, angry, revengeful. No longer I do get revengeful, no longer do I get anxious. And I, I am patient with me all the time. And I am always trying to find out the solution in place of complaining about problems. So this way we can evaluate that I am developing as a human being. And the readiness to help. Somebody is having some problem to help with him, what to do with me. He is in living in my neighborhood. Now this is somewhat going away. We are feeling concerned about the others. We are feeling concerned about the human tradition. We are feeling concerned about the entire planet, isn't it? So that bravery is coming up. And the generosity is also coming up. We are having self-funded workshops, <laughs> isn't it? So people are contributing to make people understand. So generosity. How about the innateness? Will to live with continuous happiness. Isn't it? Nice. So we did one exercise. We'll be now doing some more exercises. Natural acceptance. Nice. D. Okay. <laughs> okay. Two. D. D. To understand the role of human being in coexistence. Two D. D. <laughs> D D D D D D D okay, D okay. <laughs> So the goal of the course is to explore the human reality in more depth, to explore nature and existence, to understand the role of human being in existence, but not validate different theories. This is not the goal of the course, you know? Okay, nice. Yes, Didi. Third question. One, one, one by one, one by one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. 
Okay. Which of the following is true? Okay, nice. A. Four. Right understanding, right feelings and physical. C. <laughs> C. C. Nice. Four C. Five. Participate in a universal <laughs> B. Okay, B. Nice. B. Complementarity. Com C. Okay. Take a nice C. Trust is every entity of nature. Trust in every entity of the nature. B, Baya. B. Trust. Trust is only for human human <laughs> B or D or C, what? B. B. Okay, nice. Trust in every human being, not every entity. <coughs> Comparison, which is the dimension of realization. Which is the dimension? Which is the realization. Okay, nice. C. Yes, Didi. <laughs> Correct qualification. Which of the following give the correct qualification for the course? Did he go down? Did he go down? Oh, that's one. <laughs> one, three. One, three and four, Baya. D. D. Okay. D. One, three, four. Nice. Pleasures in life. C. Okay, nice. C. Assignment. <laughs> ha, two also. B. Okay. Take B. <laughs> so, question Self is a central for the existence. Human existence. Human existence. Human existence. Human existence. Human existence. Human existence. D, D. D, D. Look at the options closely. D, D. Huh? D Self is a center of human existence. D. <laughs> D. Self is central to human existence, human existence, not coexistence or existence. Okay. Knowing always guides the assuming. Knowing may or may not be guided by assumptions. Be by you. Knowing always guides the assumption, assuming. So, what is the right answer? No, B for ball. Ball. <laughs> Okay, let me read out. 
assuming guides the knowing is it true no knowing always guides the assuming by if if you are in a knowing state it will guide the there can be no imagination without knowing no d okay nice may or may not guide right bhaiya bhaiya in that case if you are in a state of knowing then your second level assumption will be completely if if knowing is ensured then only na ah in that state b is also correct na eh knowing always guides the assuming yeah this is it dry that is also right statement no bhaiya still confusion Ah, tell knowing me. always guides the assuming when you are in the state of realization then that that statement is also correct na yeah but assuming may be unguided also no that that may be unguided by the knowing but the second statement how come it is wrong you are asking what will it be the say, right it is also having a meaning that assuming is always guided by knowing knowing always guides the assuming always knowing bhaiya in that case if i have certain certain understanding on certain things which are my right understanding so that will become my knowing yeah so that knowing may always so that knowing always guides okay, me so we can rephrase it assuming is always guided by knowing ah, that then wrong. that is wrong okay we can rephrase it because bhaiya assuming is always guided by knowing then it is wrong for sure okay we can rephrase it like that nice <laughs> choose the correct set of statements okay c bhaiya c self is the seer body is an instrument uh, choose okay. the correct set of statements next री <laughs> 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 Yes. Consciousness is continuous. Yes. Space is ever. Yes. Self is ever. Yes. No. No. Self is continuous, continuous not ever. ever. <laughs> But what if the self is gonna be the self is gonna be more subtle to the space? In that case, it is ever, na. <coughs> so ever means unlimited in time, unlimited in space. Space. That is ever. So the space is ever. Maya, the first point: material is temporary. Material is a unit, but it always exists, which comes in physical order. So, yes. how can you say that? Nice temporary? question. So, the innateness of material is existence. It always exists. So, how can it be temporary? I am asking. <laughs> it changes from one form to another form right formation and deformation takes place yes so that's how it is temporary pardon yes you say it is temporary basically if you look at it <laughs> yes <laughs> so material is going to exist forever it is going to be but the constitution changes by virtue of which composition decomposition is taking place that's how it is temporary so that is nice the conscious entity as well as the material entity have innateness as existence they are going to be there you know forever but still material is temporary consciousness is continuous and space is ever So the three words have been used very specifically. Since we use, since we classify the units to be material unit and 
consciousness unit and hence i got this doubt okay yeah also self some time over when it become more subtler and subtler and subtler it will be the space it is continuous it is not going to be there for all space not for all the space but yeah, it is going to be limited in space so it is unlimited in time but limited in space uh, material may limited become limited in time limited in space uh, that to understood bhaiya but will there be a pariman from material to conscious conscious can be become a space <laughs> <laughs> we are not saying this <laughs> is See, it space is space consciousness can cannot get converted into space this is not what is being proposed i can see the space but i am not the space i can see the space i can see submergence in space but i am going to be limited in space feel this as a material now we are understanding this is being uh, conscious if you go more subtler of it you can see this is a space so seeing the seeing is there fine i can see the entire existence i can see all the you know all that exists but doesn't mean that i am going to be all that exists And nice so see one minute one minute bhaiya can Are you it is working didi <laughs> bhaiya ha can you kindly uh, distinguish between ever and continuous please so unlimited in time and unlimited in space is ever unlimited in time but limited in space is continuous unlimited in time means means it is going to be the same constitution there is, is no end to it na there is no interruption that is ever no and that is continuous what, and what about continuous it is the same thing no 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 like I, if you look at yourself ha huh. the self you are going to be there okay your all activities are going to be there with you it's not that expectation gets disintegrated sometime isn't it so no the, are, when the body is separated yeah you are there i am there mm -hmm. that means i am existing i am ever no ever means unlimited in space also i am there everywhere is that so no space is there everywhere i am okay. not there everywhere okay so in that sense only this word ever has been used in uhv3 or uhv pardon no no uh, sir uh, i have uh, sir i have understood and material is uh, temporary i am also sure that consciousness is continuous space is ever but i am not very much convinced with self is not ever because according to my uh, thought process i was thinking self is also ever so can you please uh, So have Help you been through this. have you been through UHV workshops UHV 2 up okay, to UHV 2 okay. you are not you have not been attending this one ah uh, no this one only this session okay. from okay. this session onwards yeah so we'll talk about it also so we we'll talk about the entire existence we'll see how material unit is limited in time limited in space conscious in that is self is unlimited in time but limited in space for example you are there i am here you are different unit i am a different unit but space is there everywhere so space is unlimited in time unlimited in space also so for unlimited in time unlimited in space the word that is being used is ever yeah so we are not going by the literal meaning yeah <laughs> nice sorry didi <laughs> this was working <laughs> okay but that may be the issue isko thoda chhota kar dijiye nahi to set of statements every unit is limited in size true or false limited in size space is transparent and no activity yes the material units coexist with consciousness units to make the bio order no false the material units need the consciousness unit to be self organized the material units need the consciousness unit to be self organized hmm pardon 
ट्रू और फॉल्स सो डव द बिल्डिंग नीड मी नो वन एंड टू नाइस भैया आंसर इज बी भैया वॉट इज मीन बाई दैट स्टेटमेंट स्पेस इज ट्रांसपेरेंट दीदी थोड़ा दिक्कत है क्या चेक कर देगी स्पेस इज ट्रांसपेरेंट ये वॉट डज इट मीन so i can see through space it is not obstructing for example this wall this wall is not transparent i cannot see behind the wall but i can always see through space it is transparent through space only every unit is recognizing the relationship with every other unit there is no hindrance there is no obstruction there that's how it is transparent nice which of the following is true दीदी कर दीजिए थोड़ा वो आ नहीं रहा छठा क्वेश्चन सिक्स क्वेश्चन सिक्स यस टेल मी अबाउट द फोर्थ वन so do the material units yeah so material unit by itself is self organized the material unit does not require me to be self organized isn't it it is self organized all these units are self organized they don't need us to be self organized so b nice didi next which of the following is true How about A? <laughs> so they are not submerged, then. Submerged. Yes, submerged, not merged. Yes. So C, nice. A, B, C, or D. A, okay, nice. Which of the following not a part of imagination of the self? <laughs> Contemplating. Okay. Comparing. C, not an activity. Nice. C. <laughs> B self by self <laughs> self by self theek hai we have done two assignments hai na bhai koi tough okay we can do few more questions two more minutes remaining bhaiya it is break time by 3:30 okay yes two minutes okay wait wait didi has a question yes give give mic self If the material self. is uh, self-organized without self, then what is the need of self in uh, with respect to material? Yeah, so material does not require the self, but I am there, very much there. Okay. I require the material. The material does not require me. Uh, I need. I require the material. <laughs> the material does not require me. <laughs> so if you look so at no. the forest, in the forest, if human beings are not there. The other three orders are very well, है ना? Surviving with each other. Even if you see the bio order and physical order, they are very much available. No issues. Okay. Question one. Self receives instruction from the body. Self instructs the body. body read sensation from the self self receive material transaction from b the body b b b 
B B B B B. How about D? D? No. Body reads sensation from self. No. Information. Body reads self reads the sensation. B. B for Bombay. Okay. ठीक है. B. नहीं ये वालों. Okay. दीदी एक बार एंटर करके ना अगले पेज पे ले लीजिए इसको इस बाय द सेल्फ बाय द सेल्फ ए नेक्स्ट आता ना यू चलो पास इट लास्ट क्वेश्चन सीयर सीयर <laughs> This is a little tricky question. Think about it. B by a B. What is the right baya. answer? B. You study we had discussed it. B. One and four. B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B One, three, and four. One, three, and four. <laughs> Enjoy it. Do your results, it okay. In fact, we can say that block B one is also the doer. Okay, we can say, but presently, that would be again between understanding, with like distinguishing between dynamic activity and state activity. But we are not going to do that. So, going by the discussion that we had yesterday, one, three, and four. Mm. Yeah. So that option is not here. <laughs> so it is the seer it is the enjoyer it is the observer also so we'll keep up to here it is tea break time the lectures discussing lecture 9 now we come to lecture 10 and 11 basically lecture 10 and 11 have been put together and in fact we have largely discussed most of it because lecture 10 and 11 is basically the exercise 1 and 2 so we have come to now module 3 we already discussed about the activities of the self in detail so now we are going to talk about human being so if you look at the five modules module 1 was introduction to the course in which we recapitulated what we have discussed in hv2 and then we talked about the all encompassing resolution in lecture 6 so can we recall the nine steps Right, starting with right understanding, wisdom, wisdom. Science. science, yes, work, yes. then undivided society, universal human order, <laughs> human tradition, right, and then the congruence of human tradition to wisdom. If you remember, there was a congruence, isn't it? Okay, so congruence means. that something that i decided at the level of wisdom i am able to see the same thing in the tradition so that authenticates something that i decided at the level of wisdom i am able to see the same thing in the human tradition so that is an authentication of my right understanding in living so that's how this congruence has been placed same like we studied about congruent triangles no same, same. <laughs> <laughs> mathematics <laughs> you had mathematics only na yes 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 <laughs> congruent of triangles yes so human tradition is 
human goal being fulfilled generation by generation that is human tradition isn't it so in wisdom i am able to see the human goal and i will to see that generation by generation it is being fulfilled so is the ac not working everybody is doing this okay <laughs> so effect of ac on the body is not being fulfilled <laughs> Yes. नहीं इक्वल मात्रा के लिए बोलते हैं यहां मात्रा नहीं है क्वांटिटी नहीं है तो सेम एज कह सकते हैं सेम एज वी कैन से सेम एज सो इन मॉड्यूल थ्री वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द ह्यूमन बींग ओके सो नाउ लेटेस्ट रिकॉल अगेन सो इन मॉड्यूल वन वी टू का इंट्रोडक्शन टू द कोर्स Okay now let us come back to the session <laughs> Yes So in module 1 we got introduced to the course in module 2 what did we discuss knower known and the process of knowing Hai na so in module 2 we talked about knower known and the process of knowing and thereby we saw the five dimensions of a unit isn't it form property natural characteristic innateness and coexistence and something that we did exercise for also isn't it now in module 3 we are going to talk about human being in detail so if you see in module 1 also keeping the diagram of the self we had talked about all the activities and now we'll again have a look at that so understanding human being comprehensively is the first step and the core theme of this course human being is there as coexistence of self and body the activities and potentialities of the self reasons for harmony or contradiction in the self is something that we are going to discuss so in module 3 we are going to investigate in further depth and also in further detail about human being so understanding the human being as coexistence of self and body and in depth investigation into the need activities and response of both self and body reinforced by direct observation through practice sessions 1 and 2 in lecture 10 and 11 we are going to discuss it then the activities and potentialities of the self in further depth and detail in lecture 12 to 14 reasons for harmony or contradiction in the self in lecture 14 and sources of happiness reviewed in light of the above in lecture 15 okay so these are the five lectures they are in module 3 so in lecture 10 and 11 we are going to investigate in further depth and also in further detail about human being in particular we will try to understand the human being as coexistence of self and body and in depth investigation into the need activities and response of both the self and the body will be made till now for most of the people major effort was at the level of thought at the level of acceptance through rational inquiry however now this will be reinforced by direct observation through practice session exercises 1 and 2 a brief discussion on the basic content and process of exercise 1 and 2 will give us an idea about the possible outcome of it on the basis of which we can conclude many things of importance in studying the human being so there is something that we had discussed in fact before lunch when ganesh ji was discussing about practice session 1 then this thing was being discussed also so we already went through this i'll not go over it again so we had discussed this yesterday we had seen this also i hope and i no need to go over it again you could see this also we had discussed about this then observing self by the self we had talked about it we looked at all the seven steps of exercise 1 then we went over to exercise 2 we looked at the seven steps of exercise 2 so basically if you see like difference between self and body we already discussed in uhv2 now here we are trying to understand the self and body through direct observation so we have already started working on exercise 1 take a mic take a mic existence and universe are same or different same while translating yesterday we had a doubt for you same same existence and universe same same universe 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 
यूनिवर्स यूनिवर्स इज द सेम एज एग्जिस्टेंस वेन यू से यूनिवर्स है ना सो लाइक सिंह द इनेटनेस ऑफ एवरी एंटिटी इज एग्जिस्टेंस या सो वेन यू से एग्जिस्टेंस when you say existence it is very close to me it is something you know just available to me i can see it when you say universe it appears as if i have to look something outside so that's how the word universe have no, has not been used existence has been used so when you say universe you feel like looking beyond this planet you know in the cosmos when you say existence everything is there exists within me outside me no nature Some more in space. Yeah, yeah. So, to understand, we can say that two are the same, but we are not using the word universe here. We are using the word universal. Now, when we are saying universal here, we are talking about this planet. But this can be applicable to every planet. This is also there, like universal human values, universal human order, isn't it? Take a mic. Yeah, brother. When we say universe, um, now people talk about multiverse also. There are many universes. So then, existence is much, much bigger than that. That's what I see. Can like. be said, yes. When we have the word multiverse also, now again, what we are subjecting universe to? Is it only this galaxy, or the much all bigger. the galaxies? Yeah. Now there are some scientific hypotheses also. When you say multiverse. or anti matter or things like that so they are basically some theories so you have to see what multiverse means to the people what anti matter you know all those things means so we have to look into it so calling it existence is better yeah calling existence is better so the seven steps of exercise 1 and 2 is placed in brief to get a feel of what we are doing detailed discussion and practice is done in practice sessions which is being run along with the content delivery two lecture on content delivery followed by one practice session by now we must have gone through four or five practice sessions covering three or four steps of exercise 1 and it must have given a feel of clarity and confidence obtained out of direct observation okay so maybe we can do this again let us go back to this exercise of observing the imagination we can do this for 10 minutes and then proceed okay i need to be aware of the object of my imagination what am i paying attention to i need to be aware i need to be aware of the feeling within me every moment and i need to see 
whether the feeling that I have at this moment is acceptable to me naturally or not. Do I want to continue with that feeling or not? 